Well, I need two hands. Oh my god, it's like vacuumed in there. To Zeke's lunchbox. Today is a pretty exciting day. It's the day that I finally receive my Wacom Cintiq 22 inch tablet. I ordered this a good two months ago and as we know with the pandemic shipping has been incredibly slow and it's been on back order for some time so it finally arrived which I'm really excited for. We are now heading into a digital age for Zeke's lunchbox. You know not forever. I know <laughs> As soon as I announced this a couple of videos ago, I did get a little backlash, you know, not backlash, but some pushback on people kind of mourning the death of acrylic painting and the death of sketchbook drawing. Those things were still going to stick around on this channel, but in order for me to finish the tarot card project, I do have to move over to digital work just to speed up the process as much as possible. If you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm working on a tarot card project called called Zeke's Arcana. The last, you know, couple of years on this channel, I've been documenting the process over there. Last week, the video that I posted was the very last acrylic painting that I will be doing for the project. So you can head over there and watch it, or you can head over to the playlist down below and catch up on the whole project. Some things that I just want to mention before we head into it. This isn't a tutorial. This isn't a review on the Cintiq Wacom. This is more just a first impressions video where I really figure out what I'm doing and I'm hoping that it'll just be relatable to you guys especially if you're somebody who has kind of been teetering on if you should join the digital art realm and you know open that part up of your portfolio and your skills. Before we head into the video make sure you give the video a like and subscribe. I would love to get to 30,000 subs before the end of the year. We had a little growth here and there with some pretty popular videos so if you subscribe because of those videos thank you for being here. If you watch these videos regularly and you see that that button down below is red, make sure you click it and it'll be great and you're part of the Zeke's Lunchbox fam. Let's get into it. So just for some background, I do have an iMac running and then I also have Wacom Cintiq 22 inch. Just for all the Apple users out there, I had to get a USB-C to HDMI cable just to run it because it didn't come with the Cintiq. It has a HDMI to HDMI uh, cable for video. If you have an iMac or a newer iMac, you have to buy your own cord. Like I mentioned in the intro, this isn't necessarily a review. I'm just testing it out because I have no idea what to expect with this. I have made pieces digitally before through Clip Studio Pro. I will pop that up here. So I am fairly familiar with the program, also fairly familiar with a Wacom Intuos, but I'm not familiar with the Cintiq, obviously. That being said, I'm not very familiar with any of it. I'm still very new when it comes to digital work. First impressions today are kind of just figuring out, you know, my keys and the brushes, the feel of it all, relaying it onto you guys to see if, I don't know, if this is useful to you. What I also have is my keyboard that's right next to me on my left side, you know, because I am right-handed, I'm just drawing with the right. Still getting used to all the quick keys because I'm not used to the setup here and there and I'm um, trying to find more ways to incorporate and just use my right hand as much as possible. I'm sure there's a quicker way for me to, you know, set up all the brushes and everything, but I guess that's what we're doing this video for. Okay, so today I'm just going to draw a gal. So far, I really enjoy working at a desk and sitting up. And also, I know a lot of people are pretty used to drawing maybe flat on a surface on a table, but going from canvas work to working upright, I prefer working like this. It's better for my wrist, better for my posture just for overall longevity I just find it the workflow is just better that way um so the brush I'm going to be using here is called a darker pencil just trying to outline everything and get my proportions ready to go because I am used to working with an iPad Pro I keep double clicking on the screen but nothing happens so I am getting used to that so let's just erase that one thing I wasn't really anticipating, and yes, the Wacom Cintiq has a anti-glare screen 
protector. It's not like a really clear glassy texture. It's more of a, a frosted texture. So it does have a little bit more grit when you move the pen around. But one thing I wasn't anticipating was the actual glare from the lights in my room. So you can see these two lights here for my studio. And then I also have the house light as well. There is some mild glare here and there with it, but it's uh, nothing you can't get used to. I just wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't thinking about the glare when I started this. I'm just gonna combine these two layers here. Wait, how do I right click? Aha. Uh -huh. There is a really steep learning curve with all of this, especially, you know, with using zoom and then also clicking the brush back and forth. Yeah, I'm still getting used to using both hands because I'm so used to just using the one. So, you know, that might be a little, a little bit disjointed for a couple of people. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Only... Uh, uh, uh. Wait, how do I select both? Oh my god. Uh, nope. How do I select both? Mm -hmm. I'm clicking. What am I doing? No, this is not working. Oh, oh shoot, what did I do? <laughs> There's such a steep learning curve with this. How do I right click both? And then, aha, okay. I'm not used to like pressing right with the button, the right click button and then, and not choosing. Like I'm so used to like pressing down onto the screen to click things and select things. So merge selected layers, that's what I wanted. As you can see, it's still like, I'm, I'm so, I'm such a novice to all of this. I don't know how to use anything right now, but you know, all the quick keys are things that you can learn you know, within like a session and then you can keep refining them. I still haven't figured out how to change my right click when it comes to working on the canvas because what I noticed instantly was I want to right click and zoom in and out and I haven't worked that out on how to change just yet. That for me right now is not a priority. So here I'm just putting in the proportions. I'm going in really rough. And I do like the fact that I am, you know, kind of away from the screen. So it really forces me to like look back and reflect on the proportions as much as possible. This is the part where it looks like real rough. But I do find that, you know, I don't get the proportions of the neck right and the shoulders right until I've like started rendering it. So what I'm trying to do a lot more is get my proportions right first before I, you know, touch anything and really start to color it in. I'm not expecting to do anything too magnificent with this session and this sketch. I'm um, more just wanting to, you know, make something really quick just for the example of it all. I'm gonna keep continuing, less talking. I'm just gonna play around and then uh, if I run into anything, I'll let you guys know. So here I'm just planning out the sketch and really refining where I want all the features to be. So trying to lay out the shape of the forehead and the nose just correctly and placing in the eyes. Consider this stage if you're, uh, you know, new to digital work, consider this stage the pencil sketching stage. So very similar to when you first start a drawing or an artwork, you plan it out in pencil and figure out exactly where you want to place everything. The best part about drawing digitally is that I can flip it in two different orientations and I can also rotate it just like you would with a normal piece of paper. Okay, I feel like I should check in because it's been about 15 minutes or so. Honestly, it feels like the transition to digital sketching so far is very similar to uh, sketching on the iPad Pro. I do really like the pencil. I believe I use the 6B pencil on the iPad Pro and I really like that brush. Here I'm just using darker pencil. I mean, it doesn't have that like gritty texture, but I feel like is fine still. I'm feeling very rusty. It's so strange, like making art is very very similar to exercise. Sometimes you, you know, will do a stretch or some kind of yoga pose and one day you can get into it really easily. No problem. You're like, oh my gosh, my body is amazing. I can really do this. Very similar to art. Sometimes you just make art and it like, 
naturally just appears with no effort whatsoever. Art is very similar in the same way. Some days you can do it really naturally and some days you, it just comes a little bit harder. Today is one of those days where it's coming a little bit harder, where it feels like, yeah, I just, I really need to warm up a little bit more. I love how with Clip Studio Paint, you have the little uh, reference image just on the side here. And also I love as soon as you hover your mouse over here, it's instantly on the grab mode. So, you know, you can just move it around zoom in maybe you guys saw before you can flip the image both ways so for anybody who doesn't do that or um, you're not quite used to that function I really love the function of being able to flip an image either side because it allows you to see things with a fresh new pair of eyes it just allows you to maybe pick up on an angle of an image that you weren't quite able to view in the other orientation it's very funny how the eye tricks us like that yeah feeling rusty here and uh, you know I'm not sure how far I'll get with this. I'd like to, you know, show you guys an actual finished image so you have something that's a little bit more aspiring to look at. So I will probably finish this sketch, but let's just keep our expectations in check because this isn't going to be a painting. It's going to still be a sketch. So, you know, similar to all my sketchbook tours, that's kind of the level that I think we should all be expecting here. I don't want to spend, you know, hours and hours on this. I'm just going to consider this like a nice warm up sketch. I don't know what it is, but for some reason today, I'm just like not able to pick up the angles in the eyes. Yeah, like I said, I'm feeling incredibly rusty. Maybe it's just because I'm working with a new medium and I'm just not used to it yet, you know? It'll take a little while to get used to working on this. That being said, look, Wacom is the biggest drawing tablet brand for a reason. It feels very, like the pen is amazing. It picks up all the slight little details. I'm not having any issues when it comes to that part of it, when it comes to the actual, you know, moving of the brush. It picks up every tiny little pressure that you can give it. So I find the Wacom tablet really easy and nice to use in that way. I just launched straight into it. There have been no problems with that. What I'm just having an issue with today is just my actual drawing skills. I'm just, I'm not vibing it. And I feel like I just need to put on a podcast and uh, yeah, and plug away and uh, keep going until I have something that I'm happy with. And then, um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. Right, further refining everything I am working on a new layer consider this you know similar to if you're working with paper you're grabbing a new piece of paper and working over with a light box you know a similar concept so you can see what you've already worked on and then kind of build upon that I could see that I didn't give her enough hair so I had to place that in and build from my past sketch here I'm trying to work out some brushes that I want to use because I am still new to clip studio I haven't made a brush panel for for myself or you know a quick brush panel where I have all my most popular or most preferred brushes so I'm still trying to figure out exactly which brushes I enjoy. I do enjoy a lot of the pencil brushes and strangely enough I do use the pencil brushes just for painting. I like how harsh and gritty they are and I just prefer the way that they maneuver everything. I prefer the pencil brushes I think because the other brushes like the watercolor and the oil brushes in Clip Studio Pro do blend everything a little bit more and they do you know really act very similarly to a oil and watercolor brush so I don't enjoy how blendy it is especially for the early stages I think for you know later stages in a painting it could be appropriate but sometimes it just you know it melts all the colors a little bit too much together and I'm trying to just avoid muddiness as much as possible Just also adding in some more highlights, giving some more depth because I put in my medium tones and now it's time to layer in all those highlights. Okay, so it's been about an hour or so and I'm just fleshing out the face at the moment. Um, like I said, it's just going to be a sketch, nothing really filled out and uh, official, but I am working out all of the brushes that I am enjoying so far. I'm really enjoying the mechanical pencil brush 
and the dense watercolor brush. So a big breakthrough that I had when I was sketching uh, this piece once again, when I was painting that piece, I realized that similar to painting with acrylic, what I often do is put down paint and then get a dry brush and blend around it. And for a long time, I had a real issue with painting digitally because I wasn't, I thought that I could just do it all with the one brush. As soon as I realized that you can, you know, pop your brush down. So I'll put the mechanical pencil down, put your color down, and then you get the br the uh, more blending brush. See, I've picked out the lighter color that's over here in the background and then you blend it out and that's what I've just been doing and that was like a big breakthrough when I, you know, was learning how to paint digitally. And what I like to do is I do like to keep my pieces quite textured. One thing that I really don't enjoy with digital painting is when things look a little bit too fluffy and so many illustrators will, you know, say the same thing. It's all about trying to get lots of texture. With real life painting, all of that texture just naturally comes into place but with digital painting and just digital illustrations you always have to find lots of textured brushes textured backgrounds that you can lay over the top it's all about building texture that's like really uh, the name of the game for me anyway okay so what I've done so far is I've just worked on the eyes a little bit further I still don't feel like it's perfect or anything but you know that's just I'm just testing it out and popping a bunch of strange colors that that I wanted to experiment with. I feel like I've already drawn this piece prior before. As soon as I laid in the hair and especially the green hair, I was like, I feel like I've drawn this girl before. I will place in where she's kind of like a semi Marge Simpson-esque character in the sketchbook, mostly just due to the hair color and the skin tone. Other than that, honestly, it's been so seamless moving over to digital so far and also just using, you know, the extra keypad over on the side because I do have an iMac is just, you you know, a wireless keyboard so it can move around all over the place. If you have a PC with a cord, that might be a little, you know, messy here and there. But other than that, it's been very seamless and I'm very excited to, you know, really get to know the tablet as much as possible and find lots of different ways to save time and whatnot to speed up the process of making art so I can give you guys lots of content and lots of art to look at. One last round, I'm going to keep painting this. I'm just going to focus on the features, so the eyes, the nose, mouth, and the ear and then the rest of it I might just leave as really undone and messy and sketchy. I kind of like the look of where it's heading and then we will finish up. impression sketch. I had a really good time and a really seamless time just jumping into it. I know I had some problems with the quick keys and for some reason I forgot which brushes that I was really enjoying in Clip Studio Pro so I had a lot of you know going through the brushes and trying to figure out which ones I really enjoyed. Eventually when I get used to it a little bit more and I really find the brushes that are like just right. I'll have to make like a quick panel, whatever, to find them a lot quicker. Let me know if you like the video and if you want to see some more digital stuff on this channel. Let me know if you're thinking about switching over to digital illustration down below and let me know what kind of artist you are. Are you a traditional medium artist or are you a digital artist? Uh, comment below. I'd love to know what you guys are up to and yeah, what your medium of choice is. Before we head out, there are two ways to support the channel. You can either head over to my Patreon where where I give one-on-one -on -one feedback on your art and kind of help coach you on what decisions you should be making on your art journey. Two, you can also head over to my shop and buy an art print, buy a sticker, buy an enamel pin. This pin here is the Zeke's Arcana moth in my tarot card deck and the artwork that I showed you earlier before. I will pop up a side by side so you can see the two pieces together. I just think the lunar moth is really cute and it's also like almost a little bow tie 
packing. So if you guys want to grab that, you can head over to my shop. I do international shipping and also enamel pins especially are tracked. So I know the shipping's a little pricey on those, but I can guarantee that it'll actually reach you, especially in pandemic times. Okay, you guys, I will see you in the next video next week. See you later. Bye. Yeah.